Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve with Breck DIY. I'm going to show you how to clean and remove a Waitco pop-up drain for your shower and tub. This is the whole kit. If you need to remove the whole kit for any reason, like this, where the chrome deteriorates, or this bottom piece can eventually deteriorate to a point where it dissolves and breaks. And you'll need to replace the whole kit. I will show you how to remove this whole setup. It can be confusing at first, but it's actually a simple fix. Drop down to plug and lift to drain. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we need. To get the hair out, I like to use a needle nose pliers. And to actually remove, you'll need a small flathead screwdriver to unscrew it. You can use a 9 16th wrench underneath here to hold it steady. But when I use these, I like to leave this piece and the piece below finger tight so you can actually undo it by hand and not need any tools at all. So what you do is you drop the whole thing down as if you're gonna fill up your tub and hold steady on your top part and unscrew to your left until it comes off. It's threaded. Next, this is a flat head screwdriver location, the small one, that if you cannot remove this by hand, I simply unscrew it like this. But if it's too tight, you'll need to drop your flat head screwdriver in there and unscrew until it comes out. If you do have a lot of hair in there, this will be a lot more difficult to unscrew. So once that's free, the whole kit comes out. And this is your flat spot for your 916 wrench to sit on if you need to hold it steady. I've already cleaned this out, but a lot of times your hair will crisscross over this and totally plug this whole thing up and will back up your drain. It's guaranteed. I have to clean this thing out constantly. And if you want need to remove the whole kit, this is what it looks like. All you need to do is throw your needle nose in here on either side. See if I can get a good view of that. On either side and twist to your left until it comes out. And this is what's gonna look like when you get it removed. So now I'm going to reinstall since this thing is already clean. So you take this guy again and re-thread it until it stops. You don't need to really crank it down. Just go a little bit tight. Grab your next piece to your right until it stops. This is your pop-up drain. That's how you fill your tub. Please like and subscribe to my channel, Breck DIY. Thanks for watching.